My name is Nona Means, and my partner is Ryan Ney, and we are debating over which invading species is better, the Asian sisters Silid or the Asian longhorn beetle. <laughs> my insect is the Asian citrus Silid, and I'm referring to it as the ACP for short throughout this debate. The ACP is a terrestrial invertebrate originating from Southern Asia. It was first introduced into the United States in, the, in Florida in 1988. The adults average around two to three milliliters long and are a major hazard for citrus plants. They damage the citrus plants by feeding on the sap. They are vectors for a disease called citrus greening. Citrus greening is a bacterial disease that when infected shortens the lifespans of trees and reduces fruit yield and quantity. One of the things I want to address in this debate is how significant of an impact this insect has had. Most U.S. states have made it illegal to move citrus fruit or plants into other citrus growing states from other states or countries. These insects are so impactful to make states completely quarantine their state to reduce ACP from spreading. Hi, my name is Ryan Nay and I'll be taking the side of the Naphloris glabra planus, better known as the Asian longhorn beetle and why it's a more invasive species compared to the Asian citrus silude. Like I said before, the topic I'll be debating is why the Asian longhorn beetle is a better invasive species compared to the Asian citrus silude. The Asian longhorn beetle draws origins from China, Japan, Korea, and the Isle of Hanang. It wasn't until the early 2000s the first cases of beetles in North America were reported, and they were found in solid wood packing material that had been shipped over from Asia. The majority of the insect's life cycle occurs under, the, under a particular host tree's bark. After the, pupil sta after the pupil stage, these adult Asian longhorn beetles emerge their, from their host trees, making their presence known within landowners. Adult, long, adult Asian longhorn beetles grow from anywhere between 0.75 and 1.25 inches and can live anywhere between 50 to 66 days on average. You can distinguish these beetles by looking at their black and white pattern antennas in midsection, complemented by whitish blue legs. One of the points that I plan on addressing in this debate is the damage that the, that the spreading and reproduction of these beetles causes on their host trees, which can range anywhere from poplars, maples, elms, and mulberry trees. Another, another topic that I want to address relating to the difficult, is, is relating to the difficulty of targeting these, this invasive species, which makes any sort of extreme extermination difficult. One of the obvious points about why the ACP is better than the Asian longhorn beetle is its size. The ACP is two to three milliliters long compared to the whole inch an ALB is. It means it is harder to detect the ACP compared to the ALB. The ACP is also an affecting economy. The ACP can destroy whole farms of citrus plants if this disease is contracted. This leads to oranges and other citrus plants price increasing, which indeed affects the less fortunate. This, complemented by the fact that these insects are difficult to find, leads to farmers losing whole farms just due to this insect. Well, it seems that your biggest point that you were trying to make is the economical effects that your species has on its infested area. Essentially, the entire life cycle of Asian longhorn beetles is centered around the destruction of trees. After an Asian longhorn beetle emerges from their host tree as an adult, the tree dies. On a larger scale, this species of beetles accounts for 34.9% loss in total canopy cover and 30.3% total tree mortality, which equates to an estimated $669 billion in revenue. You said they were difficult to find based on that they took over entire farms at once. They as in the siludes. That seems like it would make things easier to target because they are all in one place. The Asian longhorn beetle will reproduce not just live trees, but also in dead trees. And are found in more and are typically found deep within the woods, making it hard to locate them. While I understand how aggressive the disease is and how fast it can kill citrus trees, I believe that the ACP is still easier to prevent. While the insect itself isn't harmful, it carries the disease. One way landscapers are able to contain the disease is to destroy the infected area so that it doesn't spread anymore. They are able to tell during the process that the trees are being infected and contain it while the bug is still using the plant as a host. While on, other, on the other hand, there are not many indicators with the Asian longhorn beetle until after the damage is already done. After the tree host has already been killed, the beetles 
are already fully developed and moving into the next area for it to infest. This is a frustrating process because the only lead scientists have to work with is based on trees that have already died due to the reproduction of the Asian longhorn beetle. While I do agree that the plant that is infected by the ACP is obvious, this is, this is still not easy to contain. The adults will not simply stay in the plant for you to take out for it to be destroyed. The adult's ACP will jump to the next plant and again beginning the same cycle. This is the same for the ALB. The damage is obvious, but there isn't much you can do about it. The point I would like to make on the ACP is the amount of research that has been done on it. They have managed to come up with a series of insecticides that when used correctly should keep your citrus plants ACP free. The ACP is a longer carrying pest from Asia and unlike its counterparts, it's not easy to contain in the US. Asia has the true conditions met by the weather. It is a perfect domain to grow citrus and the United States is not. So while some plants in Asia can still grow even with green disease, the ones in the United States are not so fortunate. This means we should continue to study the behavior of the ACP and find a cheaper alternative way to stop the ACP. Summarizing my previously made points, the Asian longhorn beetle has destroyed billions of trees just as a byproduct of their reproduction. As long as these insects are reproducing, trees of all different families will be dying. The most important point I want to make between the two species is the location they affect. ACP is prominent in, California, in the California region, typically on citrus farms. While I understand that this disease they carry affects these plants fast, the scientists still have a pretty good idea of where to expect these insects to thrive. The Asian longhorn beetle is found in the depths of the forest, the forests, making it very hard for scientists to collect data and form conclusions about where they expect to see these insects pop up next. It's important for scientists to research the Asian longhorn beetle for the immediate fact that they're taking a huge toll on our national forest, hurting us a lot economically.